good morning, whatever time it is that you are tuning into this video. So today I'm going to do a message from your ancestors. Your ancestors have been wanting to contact you and get a message to you because again we all have an ancestral lineage passed down from time to time to time so everyone has their own unique ancestral lineage which is so beautiful but it's also so uh, impactful in the way we live our lives and the way we embody our lives and our fears our traumas are passed down from our generations back all the way back because we're all the same body we come from each other's bodies so we all hold each other's trauma and energy patterns so i wanted to do a message from the ancestors so yeah enjoy and if you enjoy make sure to give this video a thumbs up click the subscribe button and comment down below where you are from what you thought i love hearing from you guys um and yeah i'm gonna ask you to send your energy into these cards now and we're gonna get going message from the ancestors thank you thank you thank you oh my god first thing i'm feeling is this like I love it. This was at the bottom of the deck. When I was handing it up, I was looking at this picture and going, that's a beautiful picture. I can feel the power of the ancestors. You know what they're saying? Don't forget the lineage. Don't forget our lineage. You know what is happening? This Western society, this Western culture is programming and conditioning people to forget about their roots, about the power and the ancientness that they hold, right? So I got the flute card, which was the one I was looking at, and this is the um, expression card. Now, this is so beautiful, and I'll tell you why. I just did my first woman's retreat. I've done many classes, like cacao ceremonies, yoga classes, but this was my first women's retreat with my dear friend, Anna. And one thing I got us to do was womb healing. So I got all the women, which is in self-love mastery, this entire week just on womb healing and womb embodiment for your innate expression of power. If you struggle with people pleasing, if you struggle with insecurity, if you feel you're not confident enough to go after what you want or stand up for people, um, this will all be really good. That's actually in self-love mastery as well as there's a bit in um, Rose membership down below, uh, which is an amazing sisterhood community. But we were basically, I got all the women to close their eyes and just start connecting to their womb. And women kept, they all like shared their, their stories and that they were seeing these visions of different things and when I started connecting to the womb I saw the power when women came together which is why I created Rose membership but when women come together the power that we hold and the ancientness that we hold between our legs in our womb that is so diminished and like shamed like when we come into this world and we get body like we grow boobs and we go through puberty it's like we're told to hide that to diminish that, to hide. If you Don't tell anyone if you're on your period. Don't tell anyone if you're going through these fluctuations, these transformations. And what the ancestors are expressing here is allow yourself to express your beauty, your divinity, your DNA, your truth of who you truly are, which is a human right now. And like, it's beautiful and we're on earth and like express that out, right? So that's what card is really telling you. It's like, express yourself more. I'm being, I'm hearing as well, take up space, take up all all that divine space get louder if you need to <laughs> it's about really expressing your aura field it's about stop like hiding in a shell and that's so funny because i got the conscious cell which is all about um the calling your inner calling you're being called right now to step into a version of you that you may not have ever seen some of you have, feel you need to be a certain version here's the thing we're multi-dimensional we have so many facets, right? If you think about when you like someone and you have a crush on someone, how do you act? You're kind of like, hee, versus when you're in a, be a meeting with your boss, you're gonna be in a different energy. Like we have so many facets to the human. So it's about finding that new expression, that new calling. How can you ignite that flame? I'm also hearing again, don't forget the, our lineage. Don't forget your lineage, know where you came from. Look back at your generations, look at your family tree, go back the family line. Did your ancestors from thousands of years ago get murdered, get hunted? Did they, like what the way they had to live this life, you embody that innate primal power and that innate um, wisdom that you can tap into and use that to help you in your life right now. Okay, I also got the cave card, which is retreat. This is about you going within. And if you can see here, it's like the echo of energy. When we go within ourselves and we tune into that um, energy, that like wisdom that we hold, you will echo out a divine energy. You'll echo out um, new experiences, new manifestations, new things you want to move into. We also got the upper world, world card. You can upper upper world card, the upper world card, which is all about the future, and this is all the like zodiac signs. So, you know, it's interesting because when we think of the ancestors, we may think of the past, but what they're really saying is like you have the power and you have the choice to how the future is going to look because there's infinite timelines that you can go down, right? And this, ugh, 
pulling my leggings up. There is infinite timelines that you can essentially go down, right? But it's really up to you. And so if you choose right now, not from yesterday, not from the week before, but right now to express that inner expression, that inner like power that you hold, you will change your future and also your finances I'm hearing. Like you'll start to shift different parts of your life because whatever you've been doing so far hasn't been working. And if it has been working, keep doing it. But for most of you, I feel like there's a lot of things that you've been doing that just aren't working. And you need to, you need to shift that. You need to get real. I love when this card comes out. This is the Earth Mother. Feel loved and comforted, comforted, right? This is the innate nature that Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, this planet we reside on is naturally at their core. This feeling of unconditional love, which is so lacking in this world, which is why there is so much crime and there is so much darkness in this world because so many people have been shunned into the shadow and there is not enough light and love to be shining onto them, right? So much people who do bad things is because they don't feel loved deep down. And so the earth mother is calling you to saying, how can you feel loved and mothered? And again, in this retreat that I was holding, I asked everyone to visualize mother earth in their stomach because that is kind of the way, like the, um, you know, the, since the beginning of time, there has to have been a womb for Earth and humans to be created. And one of the girls beautifully shared in the circle that she saw the vision of like being shown the first woman on Earth and like her legs just spread out connecting to the Earth and like life was created through the womb and the stomach. So it's really about you starting to see your power um, in your innate wisdom and again if you're a man watching this who you don't have a womb it's still about tapping into that feminine energy that's what I'm feeling and the powerful feminine energy I think we have this misconception that feminine is just this like love and light but there's a shadow to the feminine which is the darker aspects which is the anger which is the path like the real like ugh, that's like the feminine as well so they're asking to pull that out of you and the druid is hold the space seeing yourself as a wise mystic seeing yourself as a, a soul that's walked this planet many, many lifetimes. I'm really seeing yourself as the ancient wisdom that you hold. Because when you hold that confidence, that aura, like you, you hold yourself, people will respond differently to you. People will see you differently and therefore you will attract more opportunities and more experiences for new things to come in. Because you have to understand what state are you embodying. You could think all the positive thoughts you want, but as, if you're not embodying that feeling, it's a dead end road, okay? So, yeah, your ancestors. Let me see if anything else could. Yeah, they just keep saying, don't forget your lineage. They keep repeating that. But I can feel, like, a lot of energy going back on my right side. So I think the masculine energy coming through. Like, the real power that humans have walked to this earth for us to get to this point where we are today. Which is, like, privileged in a way. Um, and, like, honoring that, okay? I got perception beyond the veil of illusion and this was in reverse and I'm hearing um, for some people they're really stuck in their ways culturally how they were brought up. Maybe you were born into a religion that had a strict set of rules and had a strict tendency so therefore when you went through an, on your spiritual path you're on you're kind of in this uh, constricted way of seeing the world and you're also in this like rules, like there has to be rules for me, right? I have to control myself. I'm not allowed to do this or that. Like I did a psychic reading for someone and they came to me and they were saying like, I can't believe you said like, we're allowed to make money if we're spiritual. And I looked at this person, I went, of course, like we're humans, like we have to live. Um, and what I could see was um, this person obviously was, had gone through a lot of difficulty in their life. So they always felt like they were doing everything wrong. Maybe they were brought up with those set of rules, those beliefs that they're doing everything wrong and sh like people were shunning them. But for someone to like, be, like hear this and go, wait, I'm allowed. Like you have to follow the joy. What feels good in your body and makes you feel alive and like good. That's what you're meant to follow. That is the God in you, the universe within you responding, saying, yes, follow this, do this. If it is not harming you or anyone else. So I'm just seeing like move beyond the veil of illusion and perception and like really tune into what's the frequency that's coming through. Am I feeling love or fear over this? And therefore you can balance out that answer. And that's when the yin and the yang comes in. You're really learning the polarity and the harmony and the multidimensionalness of, of humans. I'm also hearing for money. I just want to, uh, abundance they're saying. I want to hear what it has to say about abundance. Okay. I got purification, water, emotional cleansing, rejuvenation. 
maybe going in like to the sea and just rejuvenating yourself, right? Because this person's in the water and they're naked. It's like cleansing your aura, uh, really rejuvenating that space. And then the achievement, keep focused on your dream. What is your dream? That's what the ancestors are saying. What is your dream? What is your desire? What, what do you wish upon this world? What statement do you want to make in this world? And how can you honor your ancestors? Because they can help you as well, I'm hearing. When you acknowledge them and give them help, they're all waiting to help you because we have guides, we have angels, we have so many uh, energies around us, but you also have a lot of ancestors and past ones that want to help you, okay? Wow, what is going on? I also got purification of the fire, the naked truth, wholeness, right? And this was something we worked on a lot in the retreat was the fire element. I asked everyone to like visualize this fire in the center of our, our circle where we would pull out ancestral trauma, we'd pull out womb, um, trauma and put it in the fire because the fire is the element of transmutation, it's death and rebirth, it's transformation, it's alchemization. Um, if you think about it, fire literally purifies like anything, like it will literally turn anything into dust, like it will completely rid you of what you no longer need, right? So calling the fire in to let go of certain things that no longer serve you. I'm hearing like if you have fakeness in you that you just want to let go of, that you don't feel is authentic, allow that to leave. And then I got the last one, which is message, positive news, positive outcome. I'm hearing if you go into a state of devotion or prayer or just tuning into that voice of your ancestors, they will deliver some positive news to you and some positive guidance on your path. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments. And again, if you want to join Self Love Mastery, this is a powerful, powerful program I created to help you manifest your dream life through finding the innate magic within you that was always there, but it was diminished, it was hidden, it was told that it wasn't good enough. But when you awaken your pain and you turn it into power, you turn it into integrity, into purpose, that is when your dharma is awakened. That is when your passion, your light, your love for life is just elevated to such a higher level and you're transported to a timeline that really helps you, you know. So if you want to check that out, it is down below. And if not, I will see you over on Rose Membership for, I think this week we're doing our circle. So yeah, sending you love. Have a beautiful, blessed day.